our announcer, George Takei. We've known him now from Star Trek. He was Commander Sulu. We've had him on the show a million times, and everybody loves George. And everybody loves his husband, Brad. You call him his by his final uh, rank, huh? Commander. Commander to Commander Takei, yes. Commander oh. Sulu. Yeah. Okay. Of course I, I do. I didn't, I didn't know you did that. George Takei was the Grand Marshal of the first Japan Day Parade in New York City. So you could wow. imagine, you know, I'm the Grand Marshal, Commander Sulu. Does that come with a uniform? <laughs> we thought this was a good opportunity to touch base with George and Brad, so we sent our crack team, Mamet and Derek, to cover the big day. The day before the parade, George went on The View. He was a guest on The View, oh. and he was there to promote the event. But the interview took a turn, as it sometimes will, and, uh, and, and here's a little clip from The View. When I turned 9 and 10 and 11, I sensed that, I was different from the others. Bobby Corral had the sweetest smile. <laughs> or Richard Montana uh, was very athletic. <laughs> and, and his mother didn't uh, buy new clothes for him. <laughs> uh, I, I grew up in East L.A., uh, uh, all Mexican-American barrio. And when uh, uh, Richard Montana hunkered down to play marbles, his tight T-shirt went up and his tight pant jeans crept down and I saw a little bit of the small of his back. Okay. It was very exciting. So I grew up knowing I was different. Right, right. You know what's great about George? He does our show. And when he talks about, you know, seeing some guy's yes. ass crack, yes. that's we let it go. We love it. Right. On The View, they're still pretending like this is... A horrible thing to say. You I know. know. I could hear that somebody wanted to pull in the reins. They did. They were like, "How far is this going to go?" Well, they encouraged him. He's on the View, and then all of a sudden, he said, "You know, I I was attracted to Bobby," and I and everyone goes, ah, and then he goes, he sees he's getting laughs, and he goes, and then I saw his ass crack, and then like, oh, <laughs> <That's right>. yeah. <laughs> anyway, that interview led to a marital spat between George and Brad. Oh, really? Yeah, they told us about it when we arrived at the apartment the next day. We had a fight yesterday. Yeah, tell me we about rarely that. fight. George feels honored and privileged to be the Grand Marshal. The Japan Parade is organized by the government of Japan. And so it's like when George starts talking about the butthole or butt crack, Cleavage. not hole, you know, it's kind of like the poor government of Japan. <laughs> this, is their, this is their spokesman. <laughs> And, I, I, and that got me upset. Hey, Mehmet, uh, he's got some life, huh? It's great. It's fascinating. I mean, there's a reality show in this, don't you think? Brad and George? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. It's a really, it's a definitely, it's an interesting dynamic. A lot of, um, I would say, passive aggressive kind of behavior towards each other. Right. But um, the parade in general was just a, a kind of a mess. I felt sorry for George. I just felt he was a little disrespected by the way the parade went down. So after George met with the consul general, yeah. George was rushed off to the ribbon cutting ceremony. George sat in a fancy convertible for the parade route and was soaking up the attention from the crowds and his adoring fans. And he right. kept so the saying parade that the started good. He was put in a convertible. There were lots of fans outside and everyone was very, very excited to see him. So, so far in the parade, things are going well. And he kept saying the same two phrases over and over again. Live long and prosper. Enjoy the parade. Live long and prosper. This is a great day for a parade. Enjoy the parade. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Long and prosper. It's a beautiful day for a parade. All right, so now... This is where, where it starts to go to shit, the parade. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> for some reason... They made George get out of his car, this beautiful convertible he was in, and waving oh. to everyone and saying, live long and prosper, right in the middle of the parade route to do press interviews. Right. And there's a whole mix-up. So the car carrying George keeps driving down the parade route without George. Oh. Well, it was so sad because the convertible is, like, dignified, and it really has, like, a sort of grand marshal grandness to it. And then he's just put in this tiny little pathetic golf cart. So here it is. This is George now on the golf cart. Live long and prosper. <laughs> I'm beaming. I, I'm beaming. Ironically, he's not prospering. He's been demoted to a golf cart. <laughs> so 
sounds like he's riding on a lawnmower. Anyway, there's a glimpse into our hero, George Takei, and his big day as the Grand Marshal, as brought to you by Mehmet and Derek as they travel around with George and Brett. Live long and prosper. It's a beautiful day for a parade.